when you talk about the the bacteria in in root canals, if somebody has a root canal, has that then tooth extracted, have you found that these people can recover? Does the bacteria? Do you have to still treat that? And mm -hmm. and can people get get improvement then from their conditions? Uh, I think we've got two or three different questions involved yeah. in there. If they have a problem, then you take your blood test and your history and so on and find out what the problem is, where it comes from, because there are immunologic tests that you can do to find out what dental materials they're reacting to. So you kind of have to find out what the target is before you pull mm -hmm. the trigger. Then if you just take the tooth out and do nothing more, by actual measurement, 63% of those people end up with another autoimmune disease they did not have before they had it removed because there are ways to do it right. There is a way to do it right, and there are many ways to do it wrong. And if you treat the patient wrong, that's when they end up with the other diseases. Because dentistry is taught, well, oral surgeons in particular, these are the guys who do nothing but surgery. A dentist can do surgery. But an oral surgeon does nothing but surgery, so he's limited in his practice. So there's a little more control over the oral surgeon. A dentist can take out a tooth and do whatever he wants to. An oral surgeon, if he cuts out the periodontal ligament, which is where twice the number of bacteria live that are in the tooth, if he cleans out the periodontal ligament, he loses his license. Yeah explain that one yeah so if it is done properly then you can start putting the body back together and that's where the blood chemistry tells you what you need to do to stimulate healing because just getting rid of the enemy does not restore the nervous system the heart system the kidney the liver none of this all of that comes simultaneously or afterwards. But detoxification, so on, it's okay, but it doesn't do a whole lot of good before the dental procedures are done. Uh, I had an illustrator in the practice who has a type of humor I like to see on paper. And he did an um, uh, illustration one time of a guy drying off while he's standing under the shower. This is detoxification while you still have root canals, cavitations, nickel crowns, implants, all these things in the mouth. So, yes, if, 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 if all these procedures are done, you can turn around a lot of the incurable diseases at a very high rate. But leave out one or two steps, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So it's very touchy. And of course, if it is known that you're doing that, you're going to be in big trouble. Because if you would go to a dentist and say, is mercury poisonous? And the dentist says, yes, he's going to be selling used cars tomorrow mm -hmm. because he was going to get this letter and say, your license has just uh, been removed in all 50 states. Do you know what a dentist is trained to do if he doesn't do dentistry? He doesn't know either <laughs> because there's nothing out there that he is trained to do except dentistry. So, yeah, they got you. If you say anything bad about root canals or about mercury or any of these other things that are being done, you're out of dentistry tomorrow. So they really have a hold over keeping people toxic, keeping people sick.